try to leave without disturbing anybody, Hoppy Ho. Uh, Hoppy Ho, is that you? Don't you recognize me? It's me, your grandfather. Oh, grandfather, what a surprise. I'm so happy to see you, my boy. I'm so glad I have the chance to see you. Where are you living now? Near Fort Bend. I came to congratulate the old you. Coot? I didn't want to wake you up too early this morning. You needed rest after last night's party, my boy. You're right. Thank you, Grandfather. I was so proud that you managed to defeat the evil forces gathered against us by Spider-Woman. That's Hoppy Ho's His grandfather. grandfather. Would you like to travel with us? I'm afraid I'm too old. We'll teach you how to ride a horse. Oh, that would be wonderful. They say you can fly like the wind on one of those. What? No, Grandfather, you're much too old. You might fall. Me fall? I'm as nimble as an old mountain lion, as sturdy as an oak. Uh... Just like you, Mock. Please be reasonable, Grandfather. <laughs> I've never been reasonable, even as a child. I've always loved new experiences. And if Pocahontas can ride a horse, then so can I. I admire your courage, Grandfather. It's not courage. I just want to join you, that's all. And here's the noble beast I've chosen to ride. Oh, oh. Uh. Father. That's a great compliment. Pocahontas is a fine rider herself. I can see that, my boy. I only wish that all our squaws could ride as well as she does. And we're allowed to hunt buffalo. Just what the great spirit wants to see. Women hunting buffalo. Why not? If women knew how to hunt in Maypur, our people would be much stronger against the invaders. Princess Pocahontas is right. We could use some women. Hmm. Grandfather? Tell me about this land of yours. It's such beautiful country. Truly one of nature's masterpieces. Isn't it? And we have many good spirits that dwell in the forest. The same good spirits that watch over you, Princess. Oh, that's good to know, Grandfather. Opie Ho didn't tell me about your friends. Would you introduce them to me? Oh, please. Forgive me, Grandfather, for forgetting my manners. Don't worry, my boy. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're already friends after all. I'm just a simple Hopi. But one worth four of his tribe. <laughs> That's true. That's why they call me Four Arms. He is a medicine man, a great seer, and a valiant warrior, and well known among all the tribes. We admire him deeply, but among the Pale Faces, he is greatly feared. As for myself, Mock the Mohican, I'm glad I never had to fight what you. What do you mean? When you have to face an enemy who's more clever than you, you risk getting your head cut off without even having time <laughs> to blink. <laughs> well, that must be Mohican humor. So whose turn is it now? You've already met Pocahontas. I certainly have. Hopi Ho has praised you very highly and told me about your fine deeds. You are very kind. I hope I'm worthy of my reputation. You succeeded in vanquishing the clan of the Spider-Woman, a victory for which we Hopis are very grateful. We set out to do battle against all the evil forces that have gathered against us, and many more trials await us. I know, but in your future I foresee victory over them all. Grandfather, your prophecy is very reassuring, but can you tell us what kind of trials we'll face? That's not important. Having Pocahontas with you will prove your best protection. Let me introduce another young brave grandfather. No, wait. I'll introduce myself. My name is Mock, and my tribe is well-known far and wide. The Mohicans. You are also great friends to the Eagle. Huh? Um, uh, but how, what the... And your friend there is an Iroquois, a member of the Seneca tribe. I am Yellow Wolf. I know. 
The Mohicans are our neighbors, but we don't always get along. You can be proud, Yellow Wolf. I see in you the wisdom and fairness your people are known for. You're a great warrior. Such praise is making me blush. I am True Feather. What can you tell me? What would you like to know? Your name should speak for itself. You belong to the Cree tribe and come from the northern borders. Did you hear that? He even gets my amazing. tribe. Your name is Siwa, and you belong to the Ojibwa tribe. Yes, and we live near the Great Lakes. You are known for building large canoes. And you, my three silent ones, are Eskimos from the far north and live in the land of eternal ice. That's right. We are known for our houses made of ice that we call igloos. <laughs> I am Mutlik. He's Nui, and this is Yell. We all come from the far north and belong to the tribe of the Inuit. Houses made of ice. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'll introduce our other companions. Please do. I'm happy to see that all tribes are represented and that you all get along so well. This is Elswa. I'm a woodcarver from the Aida tribe. At your I'm Black service. Moon. I am Swift Arm, an Apache. Red Owl, Fierce Nose. This is Sound of Silence, a Cheyenne. To escape the Pale Faces, he had to hide in a cave. He was very ill and lost his ability to speak. You may have lost your ability to speak, but you have great strength. And one day you will get your voice back. This is Wandering Bear, a Kiowa. Brave Eagle. I'm Night High. Bounding Stag. They say Mark owes his life to you. No. All I did was track him down. We should go back now. Grandfather's right. Tonight there's a Wu Wu Chin ceremony. I've never heard of that ceremony. What it is, is it? It is a sacred ceremony where Blue Star of the Kachinas prophesies the future of the world. Uh, where will the ceremony take place? In the center of the village, where the Blue Star Kachina will sing a song, but you won't be able to understand much. I wouldn't be so sure. You don't know how good I am at guessing riddles. We shall see. Nothing is quite that simple here. In the beginning, when the Blue Star Kachina starts to sing, she might announce good news, but usually it's bad. She has already announced terrible strife for the Shoshone and the other Highland tribes <laughs> without telling us why. But what are the words of the song? As Grandfather said, it's very difficult to understand their exact meaning. All I can say is that every cataclysm and disaster she has predicted has happened just as she foretold. Why are we sitting here chattering? We should get to the Wu Wu Chin ceremony. You're right. Let's go. is a never-ending circle. And after the misfortunes predicted by the Blue Star Kashina have passed, peace will return. The Pale Faces will destroy the Buffalo Herds. and reservations. Despite all our laments, our people will be massacred. After these massacres, there will be huge upheavals throughout the world. Humanity will be torn by wars that will pit brother against brother. Kind of a G. 
progress capable of taking people to the stars. The progress will also cover our dear Mother Earth with unknown poisons. All the fury of nature will be unleashed. But finally, the circle of life will close again, and lasting peace will come. Don't you think this sudden silence is kind huh? of eerie? Now that you've opened your mouth, we don't have to worry about silence. Yellow Wolf, while we're here, why don't we go take a look at the Kiva? Good idea. Come with me. Let's go this way. <laughs> The prophecy made by the Blue Star Kachina hasn't really changed. It's merely added some new elements. Isn't it fun to climb up just to go down again? Yeah. Please form a circle round the fire. What's the point of our journey and all our struggles if the end of the world is written in the stars? You're wrong, Von Inkstag. Everything depends on man's efforts to re-establish a balance of the circle of life. And remember, the Blue Star Kachina is not infallible. Yes, you may be right. But everyone believes what she predicts, and all her prophecies seem to come true. If you try, anything can be changed. Yes. What do we mere mortals know about what the future holds? Why are we wasting our time discussing pointless questions? Our task is to create the future we want. Oh. You're right. We must not lose faith in ourselves. We will need all our strength to help others persevere. You have undertaken a difficult challenge, but bringing together all the tribes is a vital mission. Only by uniting our people can we prepare for peace. But never forget that we must defend ourselves and push back the invaders. Our strength will come from our unity. This is the only way the white men will respect us. There is but one path to the peace we want. We must prepare for war. We can only hope that our display of strength will avoid bloodshed. Oh. I am sure that the Great Spirit will give us the help we need to keep the peace we all so ardently desire. The Pale Faces call us all Indians? Well then, all Indians must be united in one great nation! 
May the great spirit help all our people unite into one great nation. Long live our united people. Bless our nation, O oh great spirit. Let me say to you all, well done. You have told us what we must do. We must now journey forth and face our destiny. The great spirit bless you, Pocahontas. You must excuse this fool. The blue star Kachina's prophecy has made a great impression on us all. For me, it is the kind of prophecy I have believed from the dawn of my youth. Early in the ninth spring of my life, something happened that was so strange I was never able to explain it. or you'll catch my sickness. Don't worry, my son. Yesterday, the blue star Kachina made a prophecy about you. She said that you would soon recover. You think so? Since that day, I have always believed in the blue star Kachina's prophecies. I couldn't see why. How long were you confined to bed with your illness? For four days. <laughs> <laughs> What did the old witch say when she saw you come back home? That I was nothing more than a walking corpse. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't understand. Well, she said I'd been stone dead for four days. A stubborn old lady doesn't always make a good medicine woman. You're right. All I had was a head cold. <laughs> <laughs> we have to remember that each tribe has customs and beliefs different from our own, and we must respect them. Let's hope that our coming together will accelerate understanding among us. From now on, all tribes must smoke but one peace pipe, lit from one flame. You will see how much simpler life is. You understand, Bounding Stag? A while ago, you still believed in prophecies of doom. Yes, my friends, we must join Pocahontas in her sacred struggle and fight for all we're worth. We must support her courageous endeavor and prove the prophecies of misfortune wrong. Hooray! Let's follow Pocahontas! May the great spirit protect you! Hooray, Pocahontas! <laughs> Father, for all your support. <laughs> you can always count on me for help and encouragement, Princess. Very well, my friends. Let's carry on. Hey! Yes! Let's carry on! It's good that you took part in the Wuwuchin ceremony with your companions. They come from many different tribes, and there are those who are still unsure, like Bounding Stag. You're right. I think the ceremony helps strengthen their will. You're not sleeping, Hapio? No, I'm waiting for Grandfather. I just said goodbye to him. He's going home. I don't know when I'll see him again. I want to say goodbye. 
Your grandfather has become a true friend. Really? Of course, he encouraged you to continue on your mission. He understands what I want to do. I wish I had a grandfather like him. He's so wonderful. Continue our journey, you too. <laughs> 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 